We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. October 15th, my checklist, not yours. Gossip barbed with our anger, a polite form of murder by character assassination, has its satisfactions for us too. Here we are not trying to help those we criticize. We are trying to proclaim our own righteousness. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 67. Sometimes I don't realize that I gossiped about someone until the end of the day, when I take an inventory of the day's activities. And then my gossiping appears like a blemish in my beautiful day. How could I have said something like that? Gossip shows its ugly head during a coffee break, or lunch with business associates, or I may gossip during the evening, when I'm tired from the day's activities and feel justified in bolstering my ego at the expense of someone else. Character defects like gossip sneak into my life when I am not making a constant effort to work the 12 steps of recovery. I need to remind myself that my uniqueness is the blessing of my being, and that applies equally to everyone who crosses my path in life's journey. Today, the only inventory I need to take is my own. I'll leave judgment of others to the final judge, divine providence. It is a low spot in our day when we succumb to slamming someone else trying to justify our own inadequacy. We delude ourselves into thinking we are in the right to criticize them. It is never the right action. It is unfair and makes us look like what we are, pathetic characters ignorant to our own shortcomings. Self-righteous anger can also be very enjoyable. In a perverse way, we can actually take satisfaction from the fact that many people annoy us, for it brings a comfortable feeling of superiority. When we are on the spiritual path, we pray and meditate to understand His will for us, and we redouble our efforts by focusing on how we can help others. We see God in others and practice love and tolerance as we would for a friend. The golden rule of treating others as we would have them treat us means we see God in all and want to be on God's team, supporting our family. We are all family on this globe after all. Working the steps, we made our inventory of resentments, fears, and sex conduct to discover the true nature of our wrongs, the causes and conditions. Our base natures, our survival defense mechanisms are exposed and we discover they are useless in our new way of living. We must pray for them to be removed, as was the drink obsession. The ninth step promises, which we will be amazed before we are halfway through, talks about how the fear of others will be removed. Fear is replaced with love and understanding. We find strength we didn't know we had as we live our lives with our will aligned with our higher power's will. His will for us is never to be selfish, and we intellectually know it to be true. And the longer we practice these principles, it becomes second nature in our behavior. We had to see that when we harbored grudges and planned revenge for such defeats, we were really beating ourselves with the club of anger we had intended to use on others. We learned that if we were seriously disturbed, our first need was to quiet that disturbance, regardless of who or what we thought caused it. We are not in the judging business as sober men. We are in the love and tolerance world of acceptance, where we want only to be helpful. If we were to live, we had to be free of anger. The grouch and the brainstorm were not for us. They may be the dubious luxury of normal men, but for alcoholics, these things are poison. October 15th, my checklist, not yours. Gossip barbed with our anger, a polite form of murder by character assassination has its satisfactions for us, too. Here we are not trying to help those we criticize. 
We are trying to proclaim our own righteousness. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 67. Sometimes I don't realize that I gossiped about someone until the end of the day, when I take an inventory of the day's activities. And then my gossiping appears like a blemish in my beautiful day. How could I have said something like that? Gossip shows its ugly head during a coffee break, or lunch with business associates, or I may gossip during the evening, when I'm tired from the day's activities, and feel justified in bolstering my ego at the expense of someone else. Character defects like gossip sneak into my life when I am not making a constant effort to work the 12 steps of recovery. I need to remind myself that my uniqueness is the blessing of my being, and that applies equally to everyone who crosses my path in life's journey. Today, the only inventory I need to take is my own. I'll leave judgment of others to the final judge, divine providence. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.